Okay, here we go again. Uh, hopefully I can get this uh, to you now. Uh, this is with the machine already powered up. I'll get you another video of it powering up and heating up. But anyhow, it's at 165 degrees. Um, that's what it... Uh, Minimum of 150 degrees it says down here for uh, wash and then rinse at 180 degrees. Uh, serial number plate. Um, anyhow, uh, there's the inside of the unit. Uh, probably got my lens fogged up here. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to go ahead and kick it into wash mode. Nice and quiet. I've also got it hooked up to uh, cold water. It should be hooked up to uh, hot water. Uh, it affects a little bit of the rinse cycle, but uh, you know, other than that, uh, everything, it has a booster pump that uh, boosts the uh, rinse water with uh, 180 degree water that's in a separate tank. Vogging my lens up again. It should run this cycle for uh, about 80, 85 minutes, I mean 85 seconds, and then uh, we'll uh, go do a rinse cycle and drain at the same time. It then uses the rinse cycle from the last wash for the next wash cycle water. cycle goes into the hot water out of the uh, booster tank and then that's it um, when you shut it down it goes into power down mode and then drains the complete unit that's BD for power down there it is, uh, draining all the water out of the unit. Walk around the unit here. It's uh, set up on my trailer here. It's not the most professional thing, and I've got some blocks of wood raising the front of it up to level the unit up. But uh, anyhow, here is the uh, 
this is where they indicated the fittings would be at for the uh, for the detergent and the uh, the final rinse chemical. They're supposed to be around here somewhere. It's got two places right here where you know something could be added on, but I'm not quite sure what uh, you know if those are for that or or something else. I really don't know. Um, that's the booster tank down there. Um, I can take these covers off. This is where your power comes in for your service. Um, I can take all the covers off and show you the the whole uh, insides if you care for me to. I will. Um, Anyhow, here's the uh, lime scale and stuff I was talking about. That uh, that'll come off real easy, uh, from what I understand, with some CLR. It's just on the bottom part of the machine. to have a gauge and or it's supposed to have a gauge I guess I'm not sure what the story is on that I'll take that cover off and we can have a look on that uh, in a few um, I guess I'll go into power up this is uh, Unit powering up, uh, model number 30H, and it's filling up. This is filling up off of, uh, actually off of my garden hose, so... Still got, uh... Got some hot water, I guess, from the uh, booster tank that it fills with. Runs that pump for just a second, I guess to circulate the water or something. I'm not really sure why it does that just uh, briefly. It's uh, Once again, filling it up off of the uh, off of the garden hose out here. It's supposed to be hooked to hot water, so it'll it's been fluctuating a little bit on the temperatures. takes it about uh, 10 or 15 minutes to get it up to uh, temperature once it's been uh, drained out. I'm sure that'll be a lot faster uh, 
when it's hooked to hot water. I'll check back in with you. I'm going to pause this and come back uh, when we're getting up to temperature here.